guys, Journey here, and this is a video about how I draw likenesses. Um, this is a new microphone, by the way, so let me know what you guys think of the sound quality, or should I just go back to the old one? Um, this drawing is of Perp Alpaca on um, Instagram. Very, very pretty, very pretty lady. Um, <laughs> I start off by drawing two circles kind of interlocking on top of each other. I used um, a roll of masking tape to get the circle right. It doesn't really need to be a perfect circle, but I, you know, OCD. Um, <laughs> I draw a line down the middle and a line down across, a plus sign, two circles for the eyes, depending on the eye shape. Don't like draw two like completely like symmetrical, even circles. It depends on the eye, shop, eye shape. If they have more circlish eyes or more slanted eyes or more oval eyes depending on how you draw a circle. Maybe sometimes it could be an oval or whatever. Just however the eyes are. If they have triangle eyes, don't draw a circle, draw a triangle. Anyway, um, <laughs> and then I drew a upside down triangle for the brow bone area going into the nose. Three circles for the nose. One, two, three. Uh, and then I don't really have a guideline that I draw for the mouth or a shape, but I guess you could make it as a triangle or like two ovals on top of each other. The top one obviously being smaller, kind of like hamburger patties. Um, <laughs> and then I go in and start defining some shapes. I draw on the eyebrows, erase some of my guidelines, and just um, get the eyes. And stuff down pack. It took me a while getting the mouth going because I don't really draw characters with expressions and she's smiling in this one and ignore me texting in the background but um she's smiling so it was kind of a challenge but I kind of like it. I really do wish I did it on a thicker paper type so I could actually color it in because she's super duper pretty and I want to do her some justice so I may draw her again maybe 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 um but yes, I have the reference right beside me standing up, so I, you know, I'm not drawing from memory. Uh, phone called as well. Ignore that too. Um, <laughs> after that, I define the nose and then go in with the eyebrows and, you know, do a hair eye fixing, like making her eye shape more precise instead of just two circles because it was starting to look a little creepy. Um, <laughs> Her ears are kind of like closed, I mean, not exposed in this one. So if I were to do the ears, I and that zoomed in right there, so pretty, oh my god. Um, if I were to do the ears, I'd either do like two ovals on the side of the head, right where the eyes are. So going to like, top of the ear would be like at the lower point of the eyebrow to maybe the, um bottom of the nose that would be an appropriate ear size I guess or just like map draw a three not a full interlock three but just a three on each side of the head that will help wonders um I'll do a more in-depth video on this but you know for now here you go um if this video isn't necessarily helpful or you want a more in-depth um, I guess, explanation, you can look up Goikle's video, uh, I think it's called How I Draw From References or whatever, um, it's really awesome, I learned some, um, guideline tips from that as well, so I'll just leave that link to the video down below as well as her channel because she's super duper awesome and you should probably subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and this part is sped up more because mainly it's just focusing on the face and not really doing a tutorial on how to draw bodies or shirts or clothing because I suck at that and, you know. But, um, I did that, drew the neckline. I like drawing slender, longer necks, but since this isn't a more stylistic, uh, style, I guess, and I'm trying to go more for semi-realism and actually make it look like her, I didn't do a long thinner neck but that is the style that I like and I will make a video about my style soon probably hopefully if I'm not lazy I tried to go for a more stylistic uh, style for her baby hairs that are laid down and on 
sleep because <laughs> um, I wanted to keep it you know still my style but not you know too too serious so I, I added a little cute sign there for her baby hair to represent that and the hair took the longest part it's the most most detailed part in my opinion but I kind of like how it turned out it took forever and my hand was killing me but you know you win some you lose some and that's the pain and torture of being a starving artist I guess um after I did the hair I just went back in to the face you'll see this soon enough and added some shading with her cheekbones because she's smiling and her eyes region and defined her eyebrows some more because they were blank and uh, just more shading on the face and shirt in the hair area and especially around the forehead because that's where it'd be contoured and uh, the neck and all that good jazz but other than that that's how I do my videos I mean my licenses I guess that's how I draw some reference and if you want to see me go into more depths about it I will mention some of it in a uh, draw with me video, a sketch and chat video sort of kind of thing, or a um, how I draw in my quote unquote style video because I don't really think it has a name. It's kind of different, it's kind of weird, I kind of winked it. I did have a high anime influence when I first started, but you know, that phase is over. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. My name is Journey and remember, keep following your artistic journey. <gasps> Bye!